Hello, and welcome back to my Ultimate 4 playthrough series. We are right where we left off last time, and uh, we'll hold up and camp here, I think, real quick. But let's, uh, while that's happening, uh, let's uh, go take a look at the map. So we are down here, I think, off of uh, Verity Isle. And um, I was looking at my notes. I was thinking maybe we try to find some uh, Nightshade, um, and then maybe go to Minoc. So... We are, I think, somewhere down here north of Moonglow. Let's actually uh, switch to the notes. So, um, for Nightshade, for Nightshade, actually, this is spells, reagents. Uh, I was told by Brian Miller there's Nightshade in the northeast corner of the forest, in the forest on the island next to the Shrine of Sacrifice. There's no indicator of this in the game, which is why he was sharing it with me. Um, and so, I thought we'd go look for that. And uh, because that's a little bit north of us, we got to go up up in the upper uh, right quadrant there, trying to sacrifice and, and look in the forest on the island next to it. Actually, is that the one over by Vesper? I think that's one over by Vesper. But it's like on this little island that's, that sticks out into the uh, into this little lake here. We may have to. Uh, so we may just head to Vesper and, and go north there. And then I was thinking we might sail around the end of the of the, the continent there and get up to Minoc and find out about um, getting some mystic armor now that we are avatars because there's some special armor we can get for that. So let's see about that. I got out of the ship. You remember we were very low on ship health. We are still low on ship health. Holy moly. Um, okay, so let's very carefully. Uh, okay, yeah, we are Verity Isle because there is the Lyceum. Ugh. Well, maybe we ought to fight these. Uh, this headless. We ought to get some gold out of this since he's on land. Thirty-nine gold, not too bad. Um, and I guess we'll fight these guys too, as long as we can close in the combat. They aren't going to hurt the ship. All right, that guy's lightly wounded. I think you'll come over here, and you'll come over here. Dupree, you're kind of out of it. I might move you over. I think you'll stay put. Ah, he's fleeing already. Beautiful. Fleeing, but firing. All right. One down, one to go. Heavily wounded. All right. The rest of these guys, I think, are just going to be... I might move uh, Julia over in case he starts to jig... To the left there, but beyond that, I think, uh, <laughs> oh, he instead he jigs to the right. Is he fleeing? I didn't think we hit him hard enough for him to flee. Maybe he's just trying to be cagey, but he looks like he's fleeing. You know, fl enough with your diagonal attack, Mr. Squiddy. Either flee or get someplace where we can shoot you. Because right now we can't touch him. Come on. All right, I'm going to have to move Iolo. And we just, we just. Ha, ha, ha. You can't hit us. There we go. I didn't get anything. All right, let's get out of here because that guy can fly on water. Oh, I guess we aren't getting out of here. Oh, God, we got a bow run. All right, well. Demons. Who needs them? Who needs them? Not me. I try to live a demon-free life. I definitely try to live a Balrom-free life. So, Katrina, if you could kill that Balrom before he puts us all to sleep, that would be excellent. That'd be great. I think we've already killed one. There goes another. You missed. Oh, lava. Oh, fiery hit. I thought it was lava. It's fiery hit. I don't know if that's better, but um, 
Okay. Oh no, these guys got they got somebody down there they can be firing on. What am I thinking? And I think I actually went the wrong way with my guy. Alright, lightly wounded. Come on, Katrina. Ooh, so lightly wounded. There's a lot to that. Oh, he's trying to poison Katrina. I didn't know Baurons could poison people. Holy heck. That's kind of terrifying. Why am I not firing these guys? There's somebody there to fight, so fight them. There we go. All right. Ah, here we go. Oh, thank God he didn't. All right, you're going to come over. And you're going to come over. Well, I probably didn't want to move to pray. I didn't want to move to pray. I can't move that. Anything? Do anything with that. You can go. Oh. All right. All right. All right. You aren't getting on our ship. Actually, I should let him board. Feel free to come on our ship, sir. It'll be the last thing you do because that and because that. Well, we missed. <laughs> All right, come on. Still gonna be the last thing you do. Now you're fleeing. Now you're dead. I wonder if they could fly onto your ship from anywhere. Okay, so now the Balron's heavily wounded, but he's now he's starting to evade. And we can't do we can't hit him right now. He's kinda acting like he's fleeing, which is very strange. Unless he's like setting up an attack run or something. Okay, everybody's awake, but Dupree's the only one with a shot. And he missed. Alright, I think I need to move Julia this this uh this round. Cause I don't need her getting all that attackiness from Mr. Balron. That guy's still just lightly wounded. Wow. Where he's at, we can't get more than one guy on him. I wonder what happened if I moved Dupree over behind me. If that would entice him to move. Let's try it. And then if he moves the other way, we got Iolo and Julia. And then either way, we can get two people Except that everybody's asleep. Except these two guys. They don't have a line to anybody. Oh, there we go. All right, Joffrey. Critical. Excellent. All right. We are done sleeping. Come on, Iolo. There we go. Oh, somebody did get poisoned. Joffrey got poisoned. Uh, cure on Joffrey, who is three. All right, I don't want to. Golly, what is with all these? I could have fired there. All right, well, I mean, seahorses and a Nixie. I'm terrified. Except that I'm not. All right, I can't really do anything with my personal character. Let's let's hit the wrong key. That would be fabulous. Well, let's get this Nixie fleeing. I was just gonna say, let's get this Nixie fleeing, and Iolo hits him, and he's like, "Oh, I'm out of here. I I had a bad feeling about this from the start. I didn't want to come anyway." <laughs> I was just hanging out with these guys at the bar. And they're like, hey, let's go start some stuff. It'll be fun. And I was like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, don't worry about it. We can handle it. But not, he wanted to head home. He's, 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 he really wasn't up for the, he really wasn't up for a rumble. Hilarious. Uh, all right, good, 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 good.
Good job, Katrina. We're all clustered here, hitting multiple things in the middle, but you took out a seahorse all by your lonesome. And you might do two. Whereas we're still trying to get this one dead. Now he's fleeing. And he's still fleeing. All right, that one's gone. All right, move you over, you over, you over, you over, you over, up. I guess I'll move myself over just so I can kind of hang out with the guys and gals, since we have two gals on our on our squad. There we go. All right, so I'm a little terrified because our ship health still isn't super great, but it's slowly returning. I thought getting off the ship and getting back on it kind of reset the game health, but I was off the ship and it did not. So, <laughs> but it said we're at 40, we're almost back up to 50. So that's not bad. All right, so let's head back to Vesper. The, the wind is not really acting in my favor here. And we'll go see if we can find this forest on the island Okay, so is this... There's Vesper. There's Vesper. All right, so let's get off of our boat. And let's actually switch back to the notes real quick. I want to read what Brian wrote. In the northeast corner, in the forest, on the island next to the Shrine of Sacrifice. Okay, so let's... Find the Shrine of Sacrifice again. I think it's this, I think that's it there. So. In the northeast corner, that would be this. It's forest. Okay, Elf, look. There's nothing here. Shrine of Sacrifice. All right. I guess I'm... I'm confused. There is no island. Oh! I could get across once, that's fine, but not twice. And why is a demon sl slumming hanging out with a bunch of trolls and a single Etten? Whoops, Iolo, you're not lined up on anybody. Maybe they maybe they hired him. It's like we need somebody with a diagonal attack. And he was on the he was on the on the evil beings board as being up for hire with his diagonal attack. There's nobody there. <laughs> There's nobody there. Um okay. Take out the Etten. Nice of these trolls to line up. Uh, okay, yeah, shoot at the Etten. All right, beautiful. All right, good, good, good. Barely wounded. Um, I think what I will do. Oh, that's one down. He's flying across. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. This will help our gold, too. Come on. Oh, my gosh, people. Everybody down one step. Everybody up one step. He's heavily wounded. Oh, come on, quit missing. Uh, well, I guess I did really want to do that, but... All right, there we go. 
acid trap. We can deal with that. All right. Bunch of little orcs. Cute little orcs. Who must die? And actually, what I should do is bring Dupree and uh, I think that Shamino over to help Iolo, maybe. Yeah, I think I like that idea. Right, come on. He's fleeing. Doing a really bad job of it, too. All right. Gowan. Heavily wounded. And dead. Okay. Barely wounded. This guy's got... Now he's finally up to heavily. Thirty-five gold, beautiful. All right, so let's go back on our ship. I don't feel like dealing with you, lava, lava, lava lizards. And we're gonna kind of just follow the coast around and get up to my knock. Uh, don't hit me! Don't hit me, bro! Cash darn it! Well, thank God we had our ship health pretty much back. Come on! Uh, I was sitting here hitting the button. But we were fighting the wind, and that can be dangerous. Let's go this way a bit. All right, good, the wind shifted. I can't go that way. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, bring up the map. Do I have to go all the way around all these aisles to get up there? Oh gosh, maybe I do. Let's go south, since I can. All right, so that's the tip of Dagger Isle. Verity Isle is this one down here, I think. So it's not that bad. We don't have to go all the way down around Verity Isle. But man, then, okay, there we go. What is this? Oh, that's the Shrine of Honesty, I think it was. All right. Go away, Mr. Zorn. Oh, God, Nixies? No. <laughs> uh is that our ship? I think so. I think so, because the ones that we haven't killed are have like square sails. They look different, so you can tell the difference. I'm pretty sure. Um, all right, I guess we'll take care of Mr. Nixie here just because we'll take care of them, and then we'll investigate um, if that's our ship or not. But I'm thinking that's I'm thinking that's our ship. I don't want to fire on it if it's our ship. <laughs> that would be stupid. All right, let's get you over there. Uh, okay. Bring Katrina over. One fl Did we even hit that guy? <laughs> He's already fled. Maybe I hit him. I don't know. All right. That one's gone. Helps if you hit him. We've only got one of these guys that's lined up for a shot. Well, now we got a couple more. Now they all are. All right, Dupree, come over here and help me. We'll take out the ones on this side. And fortunately, because of the mast... It's just Julia for the other one. Not that Julia can't handle a Nixie. Yeah, now he's fleeing. And that one's fleeing. I think they're all fleeing right now. Apparently the one to the south of us is, is fleeing by staying close to our ship. That didn't really work out very well. All right, so let's, uh, let's switch to our notes real fast. And let's look at our navigation. 
And actually, let's go back to the game. And let's. So we're at D and P. Okay, so looking at our notes, do we have a ship at D and P? I don't have it marked. All right, well, let's get a little closer and see if it moves. I'm thinking this is a ship I own. If I exit it, can I board it? I can. Okay, so, whoops. Location. O and D. Okay, let's go and, let's go and, or D and O. Let's go and put that on here. It's always good to know where we have more ships. So we were at D, D, and then O, M, D, D, O, M. Okay. All right. So I think I'm on now. Yeah, I'm on that ship. All right. I guess this, I just never, I just never uh, marked that one. Okay. Now... I feel like every two seconds now I'm referring back to something else. But let's see. So I'm just, where am I? We need to get up to Minoc. All right. So we need to go, we need to go up and around here. I think it's too quick, too soon for us. We don't need to dive into this bay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Let's, let's continue along this way a bit. We should be able to see. Okay, I think this is what's on my on the on the west there. I think that's that big spit of land that's uh, sticking out over the north of the shrine of sacrifice. I think. So we'll we'll continue around this. Okay, come around here. Going to keep land somewhat in sight. We have this little bay thing here. We got another spit of land. Go around that. And we'll come down here. And this is where the moon gate is. Yes, okay. More squiddies, really? <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh. That worked out well. To bring you over, uh, I guess I'll put you up there. Uh, curse you and your diagonal attack. All right, bring you over. Come on, Julia, do it to it. Lots of missing. Misses never make me happy. I'm going to come down here. I guess Iolo, we were just kind of hanging out. Same with Katrina. Attack that guy. A squid flood, huh? All right. I didn't even know we'd hit any of them hard enough to actually get them fleeing, but apparently so. That 
serpent's fleeing. That serpent's fleeing. Uh, screwed it up. All right, one dead. That's good. I'm going to head up and help Julia. Okay, we're down to two squiddies. Oh, that guy's fleeing. That's interesting. I didn't think she had hit him hard enough to make them make them flee. Unless they're just jiving around. They don't need to be right now. No, he's definitely fleeing. Yeah, there he goes. All right. We got Shamino. I think it's Shamino. Backing up Julia. I'm here in case he decides to jog to the right, and it doesn't matter. Okay. So just down here, I can find a place to, to dock. Somewhere, anywhere. We knew about this, right? I think. I think. Back to the map. <laughs> I probably looked at the map more than anything. Um, yeah, that must be covetous. That must be covetous. Okay. I thought so. I thought we'd seen that before. Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't land here. Where? Man, they don't make it easy to dock in this area. They got a lot of shoals. All right. Get off the ship. Snakes. I want to see if I can avoid the snakes because... Oh, no, I can't. And we have headless. Well, I don't care about headless. But we're not supposed to kill snakes. Um, so I guess we can back out of that battle. I just hope that we don't lose an avatar, a slice of avatar in us, but we have no problems with headless. So let's, uh, go kick some butt. I think I'll let. I'll stay put. And we'll send... It kind of looks like he's going to come around. I'll leave Dupree and Iolo there just in case. So we got all his directions covered. And maybe we'll, we'll do a pincer movement here. I'm going to leave. You guys are blocking that gap. So if he decides to duck down into that little passageway, he can't escape. All right. Did I not? Oh, I must. Was there not gold there? Confused I am. Okay, so we've got a guy here. And we got guys coming from wherever. Again, I'm beginning to feel like uh, demons are the mercenary bands. You know, if you're if you're looking to add a little muscle to your crew, then you hire yourself a demon. There we go. He's dead, and your attacks are failing because 
you can't shoot through rocks either, which is very nice. I don't think Iolos can shoot over rocks. Nope, it can't. So that would be an advantage to the crossbow that I would enjoy. But alas, it is not one we get. Where are you going, Mr. Demon? Yeah, I, I just don't feel like the the uh, demons are really good. Really good value. <laughs> you know, because they just don't seem to really provide much. Yeah, look at this guy. He's hanging back. Know, see how the Ettons do. Maybe he'll just, like, saunter away from the battle. Like his compatriot did. All right. And then there were two. You feeling lucky, punk? You're in trouble now, sir. Well, he seems to have a lot of hit points. Or our hits just haven't been hitting very hard. Yeah, he's still lightly wounded, man. He's going from lightly wounded to fleeing. Wow, that must have been a hit. And now he's gone. All right, Mr. Demon. Your move. Uh, let's see, so... Send Julia out that way. Send Katrina out that way. So he's coming down the middle. He's coming down the middle. All right. We'll get a nice line going here. Well, you can stay put. You can stay put there. Everybody else, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send around to flank him in case he decides to flee back up out of the way. And the rest of us will be here in the line of death built just for you. There he comes. I know Julia might be able to just flank him anyway. Depending, he's already heavily wounded. I don't know if she'll get there in time. She can at least block off his escape. Yeah, now he can't go anywhere. Gone. All right. I'm not happy about this. Oh, there was... Oh, he did cool. That was nice. All right. Um, these are non-evil creatures. We are not supposed to kill them. So, I'm going to let them be. And it did not muck up our avatar. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, my knock. Haven't been here in a while. Haven't been here in a while. But there was a forge, and there was a guy. Oh, thank God you were there to keep me from going into, uh, yeah, the ironworks. There was a guy that could make mystical armor. Zircon. That sounds familiar. Yep. We're supposed to ask of mystics, according to my note. Ah, uh, yes. The mystic weapons and armor. My greatest work. I gave those unto Sir Simon and Lady Tessa. Sir Simon? <laughs> okay. Simon? Sir Simon and Lady Tessa? Who the hell is that? 
that's those aren't names that necessarily um, ring a bell for me. I know one of them has got one of the places has got Beth and Rob. Oh dear God, we're gonna have to go finding Sir Simon and Lady Tessa. All right, well I better make a note of that. All right, let's see if there's anything else we can get out of this guy. Um, armor? Weapon? I make the very best. Seek the weapon? Sure. I'm always up for a good weapon. Ask at the counter. Okay, so he makes the stuff that they, that they have here, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, bother. <laughs> It just annoys you know, I, I expected something some sort of request where um you know we, we're gonna have to get a bunch of gold together or something. Uh let's see, buy magic axes, magic swords. Okay, I've I have only I have seven hundred gold and I don't have the fun for a, a, a magic sword. Not that I really want a magic sword. If there was like a magic bow, I'd be all up in that. But, because uh, I like our ranged, I like our ranged uh, lifestyle here. I really do. So we have an inn. I, I'm just kind of refreshing my brain as far as what's here in Minoc. Because it's, it's been a little while. Now, we don't have a Lady Tessa or whatever. I mean, because this is like a, that's the poor house. Are they here, maybe? Do we have some... That's the edge of the town. And this is where we were. We have the inn. Bame. Name? Sing song job. I sing songs. Very well, the raven sings, raven in the corn. He saith, Ka. That's one of our that's one of our mantras. That's what that was about, I think. All right, but we don't need that anymore because we're a full avatar. All right, I don't see like royalty here because this is really tiny, and all we have is. All we have is the inn and uh, the weapons place. So wherever Sir Simon and Lady Tessa are, it's not here. All right, but I think I'm going to let that be that for this episode. Um, we at least now know where to get potentially the mag the mystic armor and weapons. Uh, it's a, you know sadly it's. It's, um, I have no clue where to go because <laughs> I don't remember those names. Uh, my fear is, is that that's going to be, um, uh, somebody that's at, at, uh, in that, 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 uh, hidden village that's at Lost Lake. That's my fear, which if that is, turns out to be the case, that means we have another reason to get there and apparently the only way we can get there is to finally find a stinking whirlpool so so yeah i may just have to spend a lot of time sailing the seven seas and and um and see if i can find one and uh, if i can great and if i don't then well they got to show up some sometimes i don't know maybe i'll look and see how often they show up or where they spawn but anyway, I think I will let that be that for this episode. Thank you for joining me. I do hope you come back for the next, and I will see you then. And until then, be singing.